Michelle Liz here and today we are talking about the ABCs of cleaning and today I want to talk about saturate, agitate and re remove, S-A-R, the three basics of, of cleaning, of cleaning any surface. Now we should actually start with R, remove, and then go to S-A-R because most of the time you will want to look and see if something can be removed on its own before having to saturate. For example, you're dusting, you're in a fine living room uh, or a living room with fine items. You're not going to have to saturate anything. You're probably going to be able to use your microfiber and just be able to remove. Now, if you do remove, try to remove and stuff doesn't come up, now you're going to hit S-A-R. You're going to have to saturate, agitate, and then remove again. All right, I know you guys know all of this stuff. I'm just trying to give you some little pointers, tips to remember. Okay, so R, S-A-R. Saturate, first off, whatever it is that you're using, you need to let whatever it is do its job. And it doesn't really matter what it is. Maybe you're using steam. If you're using steam, you need to make sure that there's enough steam to saturate the area. If you're using uh, a chemical, is there enough chemical, enough product to saturate the area? Let whatever it is, the cleaning compound, do its work. Sometimes it's steam, water, maybe um, uh, a chemical of some type, Top, top job or whatever it is that y'all use. Uh, we use a lot of Buckeye products, so we might be dealing with a Buckeye product on there. It needs to saturate the, the stuff that needs to be removed. That should be edited. It's probably not going to be because you know how my editor is, so <laughs> go with it, okay? saturate the stuff that needs to be removed. And after it does its work, the, the product chemical cleaning solution does its work, then agitate it. Move it, move it around, right? Give it a little scrub. Grab, see what it is that you need to, to add. Some more scrubbing, less scrubbing, uh, with a, a brush maybe, or maybe just with a cloth or a sponge, but some type of agitation usually is, is necessary. Sometimes you don't need to do a lot of agitation. The simple removing, third, pro, third, third step, right, is enough agitation to remove it, especially if it was something light. You got a very, very light smattering of, of dust that's stuck with maybe uh, a little bit of grease, just the tiniest bit of grease, and you've used a little bit of ammonia, you've let it saturate, and now agitation can simply be the act of wiping it off. Maybe not, you might have to wipe it twice. If you do have to wipe it a second time to get it off, you should have just agitated. Agitate, 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 and then remove. So S-A-R, saturate, agitate, and remove. All right, now remember, keep in mind what we talked about yesterday, direction. So when you're using the S-A-R method, make sure that you're working top to bottom, right to left, and I forgot yesterday, back to front, right? Don't clean from the front to the back. back bringing it forward. All right, that's it for today. But my question for you is, what is the area that you know you need to remember, S-A-R, that you need to remember to saturate, saturate, agitate, and remove? Because sometimes you accidentally go to remove before you're ready to go there. Uh, is it showers? A lot of people showers, that's a biggie. Another one though that's very, very pro um, common is stovetops. You know, you might think, oh, I can just remove this. It might look so, so clean, especially a clear, uh, clean, clear glass top. If it's not perfectly clean, it might look like you can just wipe stuff off, but then you're gonna get that weird haziness that actually needs to have some saturation and it's probably gonna need a little bit of agitation. So what's your area? What's the one thing that you always have? The reason why I want you guys to answer these questions is so that tomorrow or today when you're out cleaning, you'll remember and you'll go, oh, that's right, I have a problem with that one. And you'll save yourselves time and energy and frustration. Okay, so figure out your answer and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.